Yeah. What makes good faith? Yes, sir. When I was a little boy, I loved cookies, but I loved soft cookies. But when I would buy them, they would be hard cookies. But I understood it was something about the grease and the cookies and the softness of the bag. If I left the cookies in the bag long enough, the cookies would get soft. That's what I'm talking about. What I see right now may not be what I want it to be, but I'm going to still keep holding on to it because my faith says if you don't see it, keep holding on. That's what good faith is all about. Greetings. When we think of the term faith, we can look at faith with two definitions. The most narrow, most basic definition of faith is trust. If you have faith in God, it simply means you trust God. If you have faith in something or someone, it simply means you trust someone or something. That's one of the most basic ways in which the term faith is used. However, in a broader context, the term faith refers to a set of beliefs or set of principles, which means I believe in a certain faith tradition. When we come to this season in our lives, this season of pandemic, this season of racism uh, in many, many forms, we have to understand that not only do we need to trust in God, that faith, but we also need faith in the broader system, a set of beliefs that says, though things may not be as I would like them to be, though what I'm seeing does not line up with what I'm hearing, though I'm in many broken aspects of life, but my faith tradition is broad enough that I have room in my life, I have room in my soul to cover the inconsistency. So make sure your faith is not only trust, but belief. God bless you.